Okay, I made a lot of progress with layer chain, and I just want to show, um, and you'll see the repo information in a moment, how easy it is to get to a situation where you have a, a way to communicate around some data. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to set up a website as a source that has a file. We're going to bring that file in and transform it. Since it's a PDF, I'm going to use a PDF transformer. And then I'm going to um, do some embedding on the data, so it's another option. And there'll be more options soon, like uh, files, uh, APIs, um, whole folders of files and secure in, in, in websites. And then outbound is going to be API or chat UI. I'm just going to do a chat UI here, so by the time we're done, we'll have an interface like this. So let me refresh the database and just show it uh, working. <clears throat> All right, database cleared. There are no related sources, transformers, or outbounds. So basically, I log into the system, I switch teams, I make a project, and my team now has a space uh, where they can collaborate around uh, a particular data source. So, uh, when I click on this one, now there could be, like I said, many options here, uh, but when I click on this one, uh, I'm going to put the particular file uh, that I want to download and then make part of um, the query, the database. Okay, so if I save that, we now have a file. Now I'm going to run, but of course this would do it on its own, um, so it's downloaded the file. And I want to then do something with that file. Now, depending on the source, I might do different things. In this case, I want to take that, which is a PDF, and make um, pages out of it. And just so you can see in the database what it's doing um, is it, it made the document from that, uh, and then it made a bunch of document chunks, um, which, we, which I have not done anything else with yet. Uh, and then, you know, now it can, you know, turn that into embedding. So I want to do another transformer. These will be sortable, the draggable right now, they're just, um, it's there, just not the UI is not there. Um, so I'm going to run that, and it's just going to do all the embedding. Now it takes a moment because it's going to the, um, the API chosen. Now it's another thing here, why are we using OpenAI all the time? We don't have to, there's many options. So this system will be all about compatibility with any of these uh, uh, APIs and LLMs. Um, now, just realizing too, as, as Laravel fans or whatever users, or we, we get all the benefits of Laravel with a great queue system with Horizon uh, and tooling to help us really get a sense of what's going on when we need to in the logs and whatnot. Uh, another thing to keep in mind or think about is like you have services like PDF GPT or plugins for chat uh, GPT. This is just a goal to make something open source that you have the data, you can host it on your own system. Uh, and it can fit almost any business uh, size uh, needs. Um, so that's the goal there. Uh, these, all these other things are great, um, but it, it can have an advantage to have your own system running. So I'm also going to now make some outbounds. We'll see if this is done in a moment. I'll, I'll show you something in a moment. Um, but in this case, I don't want an API. I want to make a chat UI. I could do both. And this outbound has to have things it does with the question to before it does a response. So the question comes in and it makes a response. Now in my quick case, I want to convert the question into embeddable data because then I want to search my vector database. And once I search the vector database and get results, I want to combine those results because they're going to be huge uh, to send off to the next thing. And so the next thing will be integrate with LLM. Now, sometimes I might not want to do all this. I might just do a vector search, or uh, maybe I do a, instead of a chat, it's a, um, uh, the other one they offer, the uh, completion. Um, so in this case, it's just a chat that I'm going to make. So now I need to, this is the really powerful part too, is you create your own prompt. So basically, um, you paste in here. Now all this stuff is uh, encrypted too, so uh, in the messages will be encrypted. Uh, so right here I can just say, um, you know, as a user, uh, so I'm setting up the system prompt. This is, uh, documentation would help here. There's a lot of docs on, on the API website, so I'll define it more here. You're basically creating the first system prompt. Uh, user is asking you, like, what, is, what are we doing here? and then we pass in the context of the search results that we combined a moment ago. So at this point, uh, a question comes in, we embed it with the, uh, in this case, the OpenAI Embedding API. We search our database. 
uh, with the embeddings we've already made. We combine the results so they're small enough to then fit into a prompt. This stuff can be optimized. Maybe there's some settings with how large you want it to be. Uh, and then the chat UI. Um, so now if we go back to the project, and we can go look in the database for a moment. And if I show you over here, there's no embeddings, but if I reload, you'll see that we've made all the embeddings. So it's just doing that in the back for you. Basic Laravel install with some Horizon. Um, there's nothing like special here. When you download it, you can just get it going. It has a wiki on GitHub, uh, which I'll just keep making better and better. Now, I still need more um, transformers or outbound transformers because like when you look at Langchain, they have plugins to trim down the text so you can send less uh, into the system. So for example, uh, I'll show you in the database, but one of these uh, searches into the vector database gets a lot of uh, punctuation and other things that just don't really add up to a good context for the system. So I just got to add a, an outbound transformer to take care of that. But then, you know, it will just get better and better from there. And a lot of this, again, Langchain is already doing. Um, they have these type of um, plugins that you can then say, hey, I, I have this text, um, strip it down so that it's more efficient for a token and whatnot. So it just takes time to make those plugins. Again, it's open source. Hopefully people will help out. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Now imagine in this example, you can add, because it's you know only going to get better pluggable, but you can add your own uh, crawler, your own um, webhook that you're sending data in from your logs. And then you transform them the way you need to, and then you have an outbound the way you need to. So things like that. You could do analytics on your data. So, all right, yeah, that's a quick look at Langchain, how it can go from zero to search in, in very little work. Uh, and only it's only going to get better as the plugins start getting made and the system gets uh, easier to use. Mm -hmm.